all sorts of stories about Eddie Van Halen, the man Kerrang calls, quote, the greatest guitarist of his generation, are cropping up as the music world reacts to the sad news of his death on October 6, 2020, after a long battle with throat cancer. In addition to his legacy as the man who changed the electric guitar forever, Van Halen also served as a pop culture touchstone, inspiring everything from a claymation guitar playing hamburger in 1985's Better Off Dead to Bill and Ted's air guitar riff Handshake and their dream of recruiting Eddie to play in Wild Stallions in 1989's Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Well, how can we have decent instruments we don't really even know how to play? That is why we need Eddie Van Halen. There are also several references to Van Halen in 1985's Back to the Future, including a scene in which Michael J. Fox as Marty McFly has gone back in time to the 1950s to impart some information to his nerdy teenage father. To make his point and scare Teen Dad into listening to him, Marty dons a hazmat suit, pulls out a cassette tape labeled Edward Van Halen, and awakens his father with some distinctly 1980s guitar riffs. My name is Darth Vader. The music from the Edward Van Halen tape sure sounds like the work of Eddie Van Halen, but was it actually him? In 2012, TMZ finally got the answer to this question once and for all. A TMZ reporter slash obvious Van Halen fan followed the band through an airport and onto an escalator to ask Eddie about the alleged cameo. The reporter took the opportunity to clear up the Back to the Future trivia once and for all, asking if it is indeed Edward Van Halen on the cassette tape. Eddie confirmed with a calm, matter-of-fact, yeah. When asked what music he was playing, Van Halen admitted that he was just, quote, playing a bunch of noise. Typical modesty from the man who often let his guitar do all the talking, and also not entirely true. The bunch of noise has a name and was even used in another movie. According to Van Halen News Desk, it's a song called Out the Window, and it also appeared in the 1984 film The Wildlife. According to IMDb, the movie is an 80s teen romp written by Cameron Crowe with the tagline, After the hottest summer of their lives, getting back to basics was easy, getting back to normal was the hard part. Upon its release, the New York Times called it, quote, something like a sequel to 1982's Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Interestingly, the wildlife starred Eric Stoltz and Leah Thompson. They played a couple. Stoltz was originally cast in the role of Marty McFly in Back to the Future. According to Vocal, he filmed the part for five weeks, but was replaced because, quote, he played the part too dramatically, and screenwriters had written the part of Marty to be a comedic character. He's a magnificent actor, but his comedy sensibilities were very different than what I had written with Bob. Michael J. Fox had been the original choice for the role, but was starring on the TV show Family Ties and couldn't get away. When the part became available again, he took it and filmed both Family Ties and Back to the Future for months, acting alongside Leah Thompson, who played the part of his teenage mother who develops a crush on Marty, not realizing he's her time-traveling son. Meanwhile, for ultimate classic rock, Eddie Van Halen scored the entirety of the wildlife, including Out the Window. His original musical role was supposed to be small, but he ended up, quote, recording searing guitar riffs over drum machine tracks that appear throughout the movie. The score was never officially released, and just one Van Halen song, an instrumental called Donut City, appeared on the Wildlife soundtrack. This didn't seem to bother Eddie Van Halen, who said, quote, We were concerned about doing stuff for the film, not selling a record. Later, Eddie incorporated pieces of the Wildlife's score into several Van Halen songs, including Right Now and Feel So Good. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.